the exhibit it, itself, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's based on some of my family background too. You know, I, um, my grandmother, she was a mind shaman, healer. Um, traditionally, traditionally in Mexico, the healers don't really um, charge for their healing. They, it's, it's, a, it's more like a gift. They know it's a gift from the creator. So they, you know, it's, she never charged for healing, you know. And, um, you know, and I was the last person. I never met her, but I was the last person she healed when I was about two years old before I came, immigrated to um, Los Angeles, United States. Um, and my mom always told me stories about her, you know, about she, her speaking to my dialects, very humble person, um, never charged for her healing. You know, everybody from the community loved her, you know. Um, then be, and then af after that, I, uh, you know, I got involved in Aztec dancing. I was about 13. My mom was an Aztec dancer in Mexico, but didn't really take it that seriously. You know, and you know, for me, it was, uh, it was a life-changing experience, the Aztec dancing. You know, I started with somebody that, w that uh, came from Mexico. Um, you know, um, so he, the knowledge he cared was so much that it, it, it was one of my inspirations and through the, also through my paintings, you know. At the show itself, you're going to see this is one of, the, um, one of the first experimental pieces that I did with the glyph symbols, with the Mayan glyph symbols um, inside the body. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think it was possible. And it's, it's, as you see through the show, you're going to see the, the glyph symbols become smaller, you know, smaller. And I, you know, you're going to see, see the whole process, you know, the whole growing process, actually. You know, um, this one is titled Queen Jaguar. Um, you know, my, my pieces are also, uh, they're not just um, reference to the May Mayan culture, but also to, you know, w once, we, once we read stories about the Mayans and, you know, and, and, and through, through, through um, books, literature, and some of the Mayan, most, most of the Mayan mythology had to do with the star system, the movement of the stars, the celestial beings, you know what I mean? Um, and you see the pyramids, if you, go, if, you, if you guys have ever been to the pyramids, you see, and they're incredible, you know. And then um, my work is also not just, you know, when, when I say it's, it's culture also, I took the cultural part of it and kind of moved it inside and went um, galactic, you know. Because you see pyramids now and being discovered throughout the world, you know. It's, it's, it's a connection with the, we all had. I believe at one time um, we were all connected with, with the star systems, you know, that's, that's it. that connection was severed somewhere in, in the way, you know, harmony. Um, so, and then um, one of my newest pieces, you guys could come closer if you guys would like. Um, I know the core restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, this is um, one of my newest pieces. The, um, this is still work on process. This is still gonna be the background and everything. Um, so one of my newest creations were the, the hummingbirds with, the hummingbirds, I, you know, this process, the hummingbird itself was, was, I did like a few years ago, but with the helmet on, that's something that I actually just a few, few weeks ago, I started, I started creating those, those hummingbirds with, with, the, with the helmets. Um, to me, to the, humming, to the hummingbirds, to the ancient cultures represented uh, a power, very powerful spirit. You know, the hummingbirds, once you, start, once you read stories of them, they're, they're con considered very courageous little, little beings, you know? Um, sometimes we need that as human beings, you know, especially what we're going through right now in our time, you know? Um, and then this is, um, this piece itself, it's called the, this is a study to the bigger piece. The original piece, the, one of the first pieces I did, the, the galactic tree of life, measured up to four feet by 10 feet or 12 feet. Um, the Galactic Tree of Life, oh man. <laughs> this is based on, um, you know, on, on with the, uh, the um, what's his name, um, Stephen Hawkins. He has, a, he has a documentary, I don't know if it's still on Netflix, it's called The Story of Everything, okay? Um, he stated with, with, you know, with the satellites we have a deep space, um, they, were, they were to take pictures of deep space. It took um, 10, 15, 10, 12 years um, and millions of pictures, you know, and the simulation that they brought forward in this documentary, it shows all the, all the galaxies clumped together and they look like a tree, you know, and with the stem. I was like, what? That, that just blew me away, 
you know. Um, and you see every, every culture, every, you know, from around the world, they always talk about the tree of life. It wasn't the family tree of life that we, as we you know, as some of us, the, the teachers, says it was the galactic tree of life, the connection with the cel with celestial, you know. And that's why, that's my, one of my um, inspirations to that. And the bigger piece that, 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 I, um, that I did was, that one's like, I was like, like 10 feet, that one's like, wow, you know, it's, it's yeah. This piece, um, it was commissioned by the, um, the faculty in Clio. Um, so this piece is, is uh, with, with Professor Eric, we talked about what, what he wanted for this, with this mural and cooperate together. And the being inside, it's, uh, it's um, he was reading a book, he was telling me that it's called the, the, um, the Celestial um, Beings or something like that. You know, as, as Latinos, we have a mixture of different bloods inside, you know, not just indigenous, you know. We have French, we have, you know, I mean, once we test, my friend tested his blood, he was all like, I'm indigenous, and he was like 20% French, you know. He's like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know, that's, this, this, that's what it represents, that we're all, you know, I mean, we, we represent different, different cultures, you know. Um, this, this, and also with the pyramids. It's like the process. The, this is the god Klaluk, giving life to different cultures with the water, with the water, the power of life. And of course, um, this is my four-year-old daughter. Her back, her background. Um, as in, you know, for us, it, it, education is very important. You know, knowledge is power. You know. And of course, you have Mother Earth, quite quickly, diastic deity of 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 life. And then you have the, the Aztec deity for um, Koryosakli. And then you have a, a Milky Way galaxy. Can, they, can, I, can I ask them if they have any questions? Do you ever guess they have any questions? Can we move forward? No? <laughs> okay, this is the, this is the flagship. <laughs> this is um, the queen of time and space and that traveler of time and space. These are, um, <clears throat> these are considered uh, their interpretation of interdimensional beings, okay? Um, Michu, uh, Stephen Hawking, Michio Kako, the, you know, Michio, Michio Kako, any of you guys heard of Michio Kako, the scientist? Any of you guys? Michio Kako? What, the physicist? Next to Stephen Hawking, after, you know, passed away, is Michio Kako now representing, you know, the mainstream science, you know. He has a book called The, the Future of Tomorrow, the way that the, the physicists um, have a representation of um, beings from other worlds is they have a type one, a type two, and a type three, and a type four. Um, you know, a type one civilization, they explain that they have the power to manipulate the weather, to um, move, move the, the earth. Type two, um, they have the power if the sun was to go out, they turn, they turn the sun um, back on or they could bring another sun in. And there's nothing in science that could destroy them. And these are based on type three civilization, galactic. They have the, they have the power, celestial beings, they have the power to open, um, boil time and space to open wormholes to bring other planets in. They play with planets. And I know I'm going way out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and of course you, this is the background itself, the different color um, as it's moving in. It's, these are portals opening. It's going, it's going to different portals, dimensions, okay? Um, this, before they used to tell us there was only four dimensions in our, to, to our knowledge, now they're telling us, the mainstream, media, the mainstream science is telling us there's ripples in time, and this is what it represents, ripples in time. My conversation that was going on 10 minutes ago over here is going on, still going on, boom, 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 boom. You know, everywhere, literally, as, as we speak, every, there's demand portals, dimensions everywhere. You know, it's just breaking in, opening them, you know. Um, and this is, the, this is the older version of this one. Um, you could tell by the glyph symbols. Look at the size. 
and then look at the size of these. These two pieces are very personal to me um, because of what I was going through at the time. Um, this one at the time, is this was dedicated to my daughter. She's four years old, and uh, <clears throat> it's a per real personal story, you know? Um, I was, uh, you know, when I was a younger artist, I, 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 my mindset was, I don't want to have kids. I don't want to have kids, I just want to be an artist, <laughs> you know? I, uh, I had kids with one of my, uh, my best friend, you know? She, uh, you know, I was going crazy, I'm not kidding you. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a good dad, and I'm a super dad now, now. you know? But at the time, I was going crazy, oh my God, I'm not gonna be a good dad, I'm an artist. You know, and that's what I was going through, you know. And you can see the energy involved. Okay, so the, um, as a few months ago, I saw, um, these are all new pieces too. Um, I started working with different, um, with, not, uh, with another um, drawing, drawing figure, a, a Jaguar. Um, and you can see the detail. So inside, inside the Jaguar is a Jaguar. You see? And, and, all, the, and all the backgrounds, all the backgrounds, all geometric um, style backgrounds. Um, and I wanted, to I wanted to be more detailed. Um, usually, you're going back 10 years ago, if you see my, my past small works, they weren't as detailed, you know? I tried to push myself, you know, you know, to, to, you know, and I'm still gonna push myself more, you know? <laughs> you know, so that, that's, that's where the, 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 that's where the background detail and, you know. Um, I was supposed to bring a bigger Jaguar that I was been working on that has more detail, you know, because once you, you, once you go move bigger, you could do more detail to, to, the, to the painting. Um, and then as my, my, my other inspiration was, um, like a few months ago, I started doing the, the spur dogs. Um, we know it as uh, the movie Coco, <laughs> the Sherlock's, Sherlock's Quinkley, you know? Um, that, that was a very personal, um, I don't know if I have more. Yeah, there's another one over there the, with the uh, blue background. I started doing the spur dogs, and that came from a personal perspective that I was going through at the time. Um, I have a dog that's, uh, his name is 50. Um, you know, at the time he was very ill, like two years ago, you know, all the doctors were telling me, oh, you know, I, you know, put him to sleep and this is, oh my God, I was going through, I was going through so much. Um, you know, and, um, he's okay now. He, he came back to life. Everybody's scratching their head, like, how do you bring him back to life? You know? Um, but yeah, he, uh, that's one of my inspiration, the, the spirit, the spirit guide. We, you know, a lot of ancient cultures talk about we carry two, you know, spirits, um, with us, you know, always guiding us, you know. Um, me, me as an Aztec dancer, you know, I, I just didn't um, associate myself with the Aztec dancers, with the dancing, also with the Native American, you know. Um, I speak of it too with a lot of Native Americans. I was taught when you do, when you do some kind of, when you do some kind of art form, um, it's not you doing it. It's another spirit coming into you, the ancient ones. And pushing and pushing you, because you go into a deep, you go to a trance when you when you do any, when you do any kind of art, you know you do you go to a trance. But sometimes you, you you wake up like, wow, did I just do that? You know, there's times I was I was like, what did I just do that? How can I, you know, um, so yeah, it's that's you know you know and, and we all we all have spirits among us. That's that's my, my biggest inspiration. Um, and uh, these four, all of them have a different. So each. Each hummingbird has a different um, headdress helmet, and all of them are present in different symbol. Um, this is the, the wind god, a heka. This is the, the, the god of rain, Tlaloc. This is the serpent, and this is the hummingbird um, headdress. And then um, Frida. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 we're all seeing the movie Frida. You know, one of my favorite movies. You know, um, and I, I wanted to, you know, to do a Frida painting. And this is one of my newest pieces that I, I, uh, I started doing. Um, 
Ricochet is a study to what you're going to see in the future, you know, um, either, uh, a, you know, drawing a realistic face with the glyph symbols, you know, that is, you know, um, the study to that, you know, the stepping stone, you know. And then, of course, you know, she, um, I added the, the Sholox queen class, the spirit animals, because she had, she had, a, you know, I think three or four of them, you know, her and Diego. They knew that they were, you know, in Mexico, the, in Mexico, uh, many years ago, um, it, was, it, uh, it was illegal to have them because they were considered very spiritual animals. You know, not everybody has them. You know, my family can't take me from Mexico City. Like, look, they have like six of them, you know, seven of them. You know, like, wow. You know, but before in Mexico, you couldn't really have them because they were considered like a national dog, you know, but not everybody. It's so popular because the movie made him so popular. You know, even I've seen Instagram that even in, in Russia, they have a whole, a whole, you know, um, you know, another, you know, the whole breed over there of Sholoks over the world. And then another Frida here. Um, and of course, the, the Sholoks here, they have the, the, the serpent headdress on them. And then this is a... Uh, before the hummingbirds and the helmets, I, I, um, I was doing the, the other kind of headdresses that was on top of the hummingbirds. And then the, the, you know, the stepping stone to that were the ones with the helmets. You know? And then you have the shawlock here. In the, in the glyph symbols inside, this one is the skull. It not, uh, the Aztecs didn't, uh, they didn't look at death as in, um, as we look at it, like it's not, it's over. Um, to the, a lot of, actually, a lot of ancient cultures, they looked at death as another, moving to another, another realm. You know, you, you're still going to be here, you know, but just, you know, in the background. <laughs> the jaguars. And then this is, um, this is called um, Xochipilli. Um, the original statue size um, has, um, it's actually uh, gray, uh, and it has, in, in its body, the original one has um, symbols of uh, different kind of flowers or plants that were, that were psychedelic. You know, it, it was, that was a deity um, that represented uh, love and culture to the Aztecs. So Chipili. Um, I kind of did my own version of it and actually put glyph symbols in it, Mayan glyph symbols. This, this symbol represents the seed of growth. Um, and then the, ba the background, of course, is, is, is diff the different backgrounds, it means different, different portals, di different dimensions. And these are, these are my interpretation of spirit guiders. <laughs> 